Hey everyone, this is Ken, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial guys on a brand new B farm for 1.18 and 1.19. Now what's great about this guys, this thing works on both the Bedrock and the Java edition, so you won't have any issues building this, plus you can make this any size you want as long as the chunks are loaded. Now right at the gate guys, this thing's going to be for a dual system, so you're going to be having one side dedicated to honeycombs and the other side dedicated to honey bottles, which is awesome, so it really picks out everything. Now the one I made guys is about 128 units. And you're going to be getting about 11 to 12 stacks on this mega system, which is crazy as far as the honey bottles. And you're going to even get more honeycombs because you're going to get 30 to 31 stacks per hour, which is amazing. And because the system is split in half, 64 is basically used for honey bottles and 64 units are basically used for the honeycombs. Now, as you can see, guys, I wanted this to look amazing. So the second you walk in, you have the storage system on the left and the right where all your honey bottles and your honeycombs will go to, which is great. Plus we have a ton of safety features, which I'll show you later on. And on both ends here, you guys, you're gonna have the spot where you're gonna refill the empty bottles and the shears on this side for the honeycombs. So you're always gonna want that filled. Now guys, pause the video because you're gonna need this for the 20 by 20 spacing, which I'll show you later on. And of course you wanna have a bunch of units, so this is what you're gonna need per unit. And per unit would have both styles of farms now it's gonna be 20 by 20 like i said earlier seven tall and you have to dig four blocks deep perfect now once you have that done guys you're gonna go right here to the front end go about one block up place a block there break that one in the back leaving a block of space and extend that to the other side then you add two pieces of redstone dust with repeater going forward towards the inside and on this side, just invert that with two pieces of redstone dust facing inwards and a straight line of redstone dust. Now, what you're going to do here, guys, is add one, two, three, break the first two blocks, add a redstone torch, and a redstone dust on top of it. Then you add a block on the top with a block on the side, break that block, add a redstone torch, and a redstone dust on top of it. Then once again, do that again, add a block this time, on the other side, and you're gonna go in this kind of back and forth wrestling towards block pattern, see? Hope that wasn't too confusing. But at this point, guys, we're gonna do the same exact thing on this side. Add three blocks, break the one underneath, add a wrestling torch with a wrestling dust on top with a block on top of it, block on the side, break that block, add a wrestling torch on the side of that with a wrestling dust on top, add a block on top with a block on the side, and break that block as well with a wrestling torch to activate that, and once again, guys, you should have the system. Now, this time, the last one, you're gonna do something different. Add a block going forward, and then the redstone torch, and a redstone dust on top, you see? So block on top, block towards the center, see? And add that redstone torch in front with the redstone dust on top of it. Perfect. Now at this point, guys, let's go right back to the front here on this corner, guys. You're gonna count one, two, and three. Then you're gonna place your block in front. Fantastic. Once you've done that, guys, you're gonna place a repeater going forward with a rest on dust in front. And on the side of it, you're gonna place a comparator going the opposite direction with a block in front of it. And a rest of dust, or rest of dust uh, in front of that block. And starting here, guys, in a straight row upwards, you're gonna place nine droppers going up. And over here, you're gonna add your target block. And on top of the repeater, guys, you're gonna add your observer block and extend that all the way up to your parallel to the droppers and some more observer blocks on the side facing forward. Then you're gonna place a block right in front. And what we have here, guys, is a silent item elevator that works on both versions. And don't forget to put that on subtract mode. Perfect. Now we're just going to replicate the same exact thing on this side. So go about one, two, and three. Add a block there. With a repeater going forward, rest on dust in front. A comparator right there. With a block in front and a rest on dust like so with a target block on the side. And once again, guys, add your nine droppers going upwards. And you're going to add your observer block on top of that repeater. Extend it all the way up parallel to the droppers. And on the side as well, facing forward with a block in front. And don't forget to put the comparator on subtract mode. Now starting here, guys, right above that repeater, you're gonna add a two by seven platform like so. And starting from that repeater, guys, right above it, once again, going inwards, add that two by seven platform. 
perfect. Now, the reason we have that there, guys, is to simply add our large chest. So we're going to be making about four large chests to a max height of four. And at this point, guys, it's really as long as you want it. I put seven rows, but you can even expand this to eight, nine, ten. It's really whatever you want. You can make this as long as you want. It's really your choice. But just for the tutorial, guys, we're going to make it about seven long just for the video. And whatever you do on one side, you're going to simply replicate it on the other side. Now, once you got your chest all set up, guys, like always, you're going to paste a hopper behind every single chest going forward. Now, once you have this set up, guys, you're going to place a hopper facing down and a straight line towards that hopper. See how all the hoppers going towards that direction and a large chest right above it. Now, right here, guys, you're going to add some upside down stairs. And just make sure you add a transparent block. I used to, I like to use a uh, glowstone. Now you're going to add a comparator there, a block on top, extending it forward right across and right above the hopper guys, you're going to add a glass with a block right behind it, or even a slab It's really your choice. As long as it's a transparent block and a straight line of rest on dust right across. Now, right behind you on the other side, you can do the same exact layout, guys. Simply add your hoppers behind the chest, add a hopper straight down, a straight line of hoppers towards that first one, a large chest between the hopper and the actual dropper. Right over here. Perfect. Then you're going to add your stairs right across. Add your glowstone or any transparent block that you want to add. And add your comparator with a straight line of blocks and simply connect it to that rest of dust. Perfect. Now at this point, guys, we can go right over here, add one, two, three. Then you add a block right there with an additional four blocks. And a block right on top. Then you're going to add a rail detector right at an angle like so. And two power rails going forward with one block on the side. And break that right there. So you want to keep that at an angle. Now over here, guys, you're going to add one, two, three, five blocks in total. Just like we did on the other side. Add a block right on top. Add your rail detector at an angle. And your two power rails, guys. And a block right there also on the side as well. Now right on top of here, add a block and a hopper on each corner. One, two, three. Perfect. And a hopper on top and break the middle. Then you're going to add a barrel right on top of each hopper on each side and four hoppers right on top facing down. And we're going to replicate this on the other side. So place a block on top of the rail detector with a hopper going towards the block on each side and on top as well. Then you're going to break the block underneath, add your barrels on top of each of the three hoppers around it. One, two, three, and your four hoppers right on top. Perfect. Now, right back here, guys, you're going to add three blocks at an angle with a comparator going forward and three blocks right here at an angle with a comparator going forward as well. Then we're going to go to the other side here. You're going to add a wrestling torch on each side with three blocks right there in the middle and right there on top in the center. You're going to add a target block with a wrestling dust going forward. So you added three blocks with a block on top, that target block. And a rest on dust with a repeated one forward on four ticks with two blocks in front and a regular piston going sideways. Then you're going to add your repeater on full delay with a block in front of it and a piston going sideways. And that's going to hold the minecart chest. All right. Now that we got that part all set up, you're going to add a hopper line going from here straight across and across from here as well and extend that straight to the back. Perfect. Now, once you've done that, guys, you're going to add a large chest right on top, like so. And a hopper right behind each chest with a chest starting off from the hopper going forward. Because we want all the items to drain downwards. And you're going to repeat this four times. See? It's a real simple pattern. It's going back and forth with the hoppers and the chest, creating this kind of step pattern. Kind of looks like stairs, but not really. So add your chest. Once again, do this a total of four times on both sides. 
Perfect. You see, not too bad. Now back to the front here, right in the back end, we're going to go one, two, and three. Break the two blocks right there. And starting here, guys, you're going to add a block on top, block on the side, add a redstone dust right on top. And you're going to add a redstone torch on top of the block. And you're going to do this four times with the block and the redstone torch. It should be a total of four redstone torches going up. You see? And we're going to repeat that on this side. So one, two, three, break those two blocks. Add a block on top, a block on the side, a redstone dust on top of the block with your four redstone torches going upwards. And right here in the center, add two blocks on top of the hopper with a sticky piston going on opposite directions. One there and there as well with a redstone block in front of each sticky piston. Then you're going to get a transparent block, either glass or slabs, and place it right in front on top of the hoppers and some solid blocks like so with a rest on line going forward with repeaters going towards the sticky piston. The reason for that is guys, because this is gonna send an exact 15 block long rest on signal to only activate one repeater and not the other. Now break these two hoppers and we're gonna pick the left side for the um, honeycombs. Now place four blocks in this two by two pattern. Put a comparator going forward and three pieces of redstone dust and a redstone torch on the side. And you're gonna place a hopper going towards the comparator. And in that hopper guys, on the first or the last four slots, we're gonna add one piece of dirt. And in the first slot guys, add just four or three honeycombs. And right here on the side guys, you're gonna add a barrel with a hopper on top add another hopper going towards the barrel. Then you're gonna add another hopper going towards that second barrel, I mean that second hopper, and another hopper going towards that third hopper. So it's kind of like a, a whole U shape. Then two hoppers going forward. And on the side here in the middle, you're gonna add an additional one, two, and three hoppers, and three more hoppers right over here as well. And on each corner, guys, you're gonna add that barrel with a hopper right on top. And two hoppers going forward, one, two, and one, two. I want to pause the video. Make sure you have this if you can. Just pause the video. This is the pattern that we're going with. Now, I did add some blocks on the top and the back end, but I'll show you that later on. Now, what you want to do is create a nice platform parallel to those hoppers. And underneath, you want to add some wrestling torches to power those blocks because you really want to power these power rails. Now, remember, I added a, a row of blocks back there. Didn't show it earlier, but I did add that row of blocks on top of the hoppers. It's a small oversight, but nothing too crazy, guys. You definitely guys can handle that. And at this point, guys, you want to add a straight line of power rails, or even a combination of power rails, or even regular rails. And once you've done that, guys, cover it up with some dirt or grass of your choice. Now, right here in the corner, guys, you want to make a hopper line going towards that top hopper. And on top of each hopper, guys, you want to add a beehive like so right on top of each hopper. Now, before I have a moment, guys, make sure to definitely hit that subscribe button and to give this video a like, because it trust me, it really helps the channel. So if you can, guys, uh, I would just truly appreciate that. <laughs> now, at this point, this is where you start really expanding your design. Now, you're going to dig about two blocks or one block deep from this point. Just extend these power rails for as long as you want. Now, it doesn't have to be all power rails, but if they are, just make sure you power them with either a redstone torch or even a redstone block. But like I said, guys, you could definitely use your combination of power rails and even regular rails, as long as they're going back and forth like so. Now, at the end, make sure there's power rails because you want to add your minecart hoppers going back and forth. It's going to guarantee that you get 100% of the items that you picked or that are produced with this farm. And you're going to cover all the rails with some dirt of your choice. And once again, you're going to extend this hopper line straight as far back as you want to, as, or as far back as you made the design. And you're going to make sure you add those beehives like so on top of each hopper. Now make sure guys, you pause the video because it's going to be the real, real tedious part. You can add about two blocks up on both sides. And the reason you want to do that, those are temporary. You want to add your uh, dispensers to face downwards. See? And you're gonna break the block right above it. Now, as I remove this, 
the dispenser should be shooting in a downwards direction. You see? And you're going to replicate this over on this side. And you're going to do it to every single beehive right across the board. Now, at this point, guys, you can place a hopper on top of each dispenser. And one side will be honey bottles. The other side will be honeycombs. Now, we're going to start off with the honey bottle setup. Now, starting from the hopper, guys, you're going to add three blocks going up. Then three more blocks on the bottom. One, two, three. Then one right on top with the comparator going forward right here. A block right on top of the comparator with a slab right in front of that block and five pieces of rest on dust in a straight line like so. Now this design guys was originally from Il Mango so I gotta give credit for him guys. He is an awesome YouTuber, uh, YouTuber and he just he's the original MVP on this. So um, definitely not taking no credit on this. This was definitely his design. Now for the honeycomb side, I definitely came up with this one. You're gonna have some observer blocks here with a block right behind it and some target blocks now right above the observer and a straight line of rest on dust. Now guys, make sure to repeat this whole design on both sides right across the board to every single one. Now once you've done that guys, you're gonna add three blocks here, break the ones underneath, one and two, with a sticky piston facing downwards. And starting here guys, add a straight line of blocks all the way to the back end of your design with sticky pistons underneath the block. And right now you're gonna add a rest on torch in front and a straight line of rest on dust going forward. Now, if you pass 15 blocks going forward, you're gonna add a repeater going forward. Now for the job addition, that's all you need because it's gonna activate all the pistons underneath with no headache. But for the bedrock, it's not gonna activate but one piston which is right parallel to that repeater. Now to fix that, all you have to do is add three blocks right here, add a rest on dust there, with a repeater going forward, and one piece of rest on dust in front. And that's it. Now, you definitely have to add an observer block right there and one underneath facing downwards, because when the system resets and goes back, it's going to activate the system. Trust me, it's a good safety feature. Now right now, guys, you're going to add about a few blocks going upwards, about four, break the one in the middle, Add a sticky piston, break that one, and add it right there underneath it, guys. And you're going to break the one on top as well. And starting from there, guys, you're going to add a straight line of sticky pistons right across with a block underneath. And over here, guys, add a few blocks, add an L shape, and a straight line of wrestling dust with a repeater going forward now. And once again, you're going to add some wrestling dust on top of the pistons. Now, I want to activate them just to show you how to really set everything up. Now for the job addition, once again, you just have to add that repeater going forward and that's it. But with bedrock, it's a little different. See? Bedrock won't activate the piston underneath the repeater. So to fix that issue, we're going to go on the inside part now. Add a block right there. Block right behind it. And the forward, guys. Add a red repeater there with a rest on dust behind it. And that rest on dust in front of the repeater is going to activate that piston parallel to that repeater. I hope that all makes sense, guys. It's getting a little fuzzy now. Now, you're going to add three blocks with a rest on dust there, with a repeater going forward, and a rest on dust in front of it. And that block is powering that piston. Let me turn this off, guys. And you're going to add that rest on dust right there, right back. And as you can see, guys, it controls the entire system. Awesome. And the observers definitely gives that that reset activation. Now, I'm going to start setting up this rail system. Now add a block at an angle. Then use rails and power rails going up. Add another block right at an angle. So two blocks at an angle and a third one like so. Now, you're going to add a power rail there. But what you want to do now is really add some blocks here to create a nice framework. Add a few blocks here, here, and here, just parallel to the actual hopper. Now, I'm going to leave it off like that for now. What you're going to do is place a block right there at an angle and bring it all the way down. And then place a block there like so. And what you want to do is curve this with a regular rail and add a straight line of power rails going up. Then you're going to curve it here with a regular rail and add a that power rail right across every hopper and make sure to add a block right behind it. And definitely, guys, find ways to power that power rail with levers. So you can place a block on top of the rail and just activate the block. And that will not interfere with the pistons. 
So you want to make sure that all the power rails are activated. Now we're going to replicate that on this side as well, guys. Add a few blocks here at an angle one, add a regular rail and two power rails. Add another block like so, another block. And over here, guys, we're going to create that stair pattern going straight down. And one more block in a straight line. Perfect. Now, once again, guys, add your power rails and a regular rail. Another row of power rails going up. Add your regular rail. Add a straight line of power rails. And once again, guys, you can even simply add a block on top or a block on the side of it to activate it using levers or whatever you want to use. So add a lever here and definitely here as well to make sure that all these rails, guys, I cannot stress it, is activated. Now at this point, guys, you're going to break these hoppers and you're going to add a 2 by 3 wide platform right here. Then you're going to add a comparator going forward and then hop repeaters going forward. Now make sure to put those hoppers right back to this place. One, two, three. And at this point, you're going to add a block in front of each repeater like so with a straight line of redstone dust. And in front of that redstone dust, you're going to add a block with a redstone torch. Perfect. Now parallel here, guys, you're going to add a straight line of blocks from that redstone torch there going forward and a straight line of redstone dust on top of it with a block on top of the redstone torch. And that's going to reset the system in case any of the items get low here as far as refilling the whole system. So it's a good safety feature so you don't miss out on anything. Now we're going to repeat that on this side as well. So break those hoppers, add your 3x2 platform. Then you're going to add your comparators going forward with your repeaters going forward on this side. Add your hoppers right back. And you're going to add a block in front of each repeater like so with a straight line of redstone dust with a block in front and that redstone torch. And of course, get that straight line of blocks from this point and a straight line of redstone dust with a block on top. And as you can see, guys, it activates all the pistons, locking the entire system. Now we're going to start doing the decoration, guys. Now at this point, I want to show you a general idea of what I created. Now from here, you want to create a nice platform or the floor for your entire build. Now I want to show you what I did personally, guys. I added some oak wood sp or spruce wood on each corner, going all the way up, parallel to the rest on dust. Then I added a straight line of spruce wood from this side, created a nice framework with some spruce wood stairs underneath. Now over here, guys, I extended that spruce wood stairs and added another row of spruce wood planks. I mean, uh, wood, logs, <laughs> from this point. And I just extended the framework over here, guys, with some oak wood planks, just to kind of cover up as much of the redstone as possible. Now, over here, guys, I simply replicated what I did on one side to the other side, just to kind of get that, you know, balance and that symmetry right across the board. See? Then we're going to add our spruce wood stairs underneath. Fantastic. It's really come together. Now under here, guys, I added some spruce wood planks with some spruce wood stairs and just simply wrap it around just to give it a nice trim on the bottom part. And on top here, guys, we added some more oak wood planks, two rows like so. And I decided to use the dark oak stairs and just simply wrap that around the whole top edge to really make everything pop out more. Look at that. Really gives a nice effect. Now on the inside here, guys, once again, I like to cover up all the rest on. So for the chest, I simply added two rows of oak wood planks going upwards. And over here, guys, I just simply extended it by one or two blocks. Then I did the same thing on this side as well. Just simply try to cover up as much as possible, even wrapped it around at this point. Now on top here, guys, I added two rows, one, two, and some glowstone here just to light everything up and just really cover up, once again, as much as possible. And I cover up the side here, guys, and whatever I do on one side, I simply do on the other side. Now right here on the inside part, guys, I also use a combination of spruce wood and upside down stairs, and I added some, rest on, well, some torches to light everything up, and I use 
birch wood on top to really cover that up. Now make sure you cover the whole floor with flowers of your choice. And it should look like this. And I added a double layer of glass wall here just to give that extra just niceness. And if you can, guys, pause the video. You're going to have to fill up all these chests with some bottles, empty bottles on one side. And on the other side, you're going to have to add some shears for the honeycombs. It's going to be very tedious, but trust me, at the end, it's going to be a phenomenal result. And you're going to get some crazy returns. Now, up here, temporarily, guys, you're going to add a repeater there and a straight line of rest on dust because you want to lock the whole system first. So just add a lever here, activate that. And it's going to lock down the entire system just temporarily. And the reason for that is, guys, because right now you got to fill up all the dispensers with either water bottles, if you're doing the honey bottle side, or shears if you're doing the honeycomb side. And don't forget to add one minecart hopper on both sides. I mean, minecart chests. And as you can see, guys, like I was saying, this thing fills up in 4x speed. I mean, it's just phenomenal. Now, to really get the bees in here, make sure you get at least three bees inside. And it's going to take some time, but be patient. You want to breed them until you get at least hundreds of bees. Something like this. So take your time on this. It's not a quick one, two, three build, but trust me, the end result will be phenomenal. And you will definitely have a mega farm. Once again, thank you so much for all the support. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching. Remember to please leave a comment and to click that subscribe button if you want to join. Thank you.